Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Cracking. It's D-Boss Rex in this vid. This is what's something an ex did to you that you can't believe you allowed. Listen, we all have allowed a lot of wild, crazy shit. If you haven't started dating yet, you're going to allow a lot of wild and crazy shit, okay? That is a part of life. But if you just go based on what you see online all day, you would think that everybody's so smart and, and never puts up with any nonsense and they have so much self-love and self-respect, they would never based on the self-righteous shit that people post online it's so fucking annoying like know your worth and oh i would never oh she looks so stupid i would have never dealt with that shut the fuck up first off a lot of those people that you see leaving all these comments and talking about what they would never do and da 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 and this person's so stupid they ain't never dated no fucking body they be the main ones online all day talking about what they wouldn't allow and how they would love they self da 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 you go to their profile and ain't no fucking way nobody has ever dated you you're speaking from a place of inexperience. Shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about. Everybody goes through dumb phases in their lives where they're putting up with stupid shit. If you've ever actually dated and been out there, you have put up with some nonsense at one point or another. It, it's, a, it's a part of life. It, it just is, okay? You're going to put up with stupid shit. You're going to take people back when you shouldn't. All of that is a part of the process, okay? I've done many times. But I've had great experiences in life with people. I've had great dating experiences, great, you know, times with partners. I wouldn't take any of it back at all. And you learn from that shit. That's how you grow. You don't just start out the gate being inexperienced and being so smart and have all this self-love and knowledge and just know what you shouldn't put up with. That is not realistic. I'm sure there are exceptions, sure, whatever the fuck. But for the most part... People have to go through that bullshit in order to realize, like, uh, that's not what I want. Uh, I want to go through that again. Uh, I'm not going to put up with that next time. You feel me? That's just a part of life. So don't feel bad about having put up with stupid shit or having taken someone back when you shouldn't have and da-da-da. It's life, okay? So we're going to watch what these people say they put up with. Don't judge them, okay? Because we all, we all go through it, okay? It is a part of the process. Anyway, let's watch. What are some things that an ex did to you that you still can't believe to this day that you will believe? So back in March, my ex and I had sex, and he neglected to tell me that he had an STD. STD. Prior to us having Damn. sex, he was already diagnosed and started his first day of medication. But that does not stop it from being transmittable. Damn, and he, he knew about her. He did. And he just didn't respect me enough to tell me until That's we were in the middle up. of sex when I noticed a medication bottle on his nightstand and I literally had to force it out of him. At that point, I knew it was inevitable that I would get the STD. So I went to Planned Parenthood that same week just to confirm my that. diagnosis and start my medication and move on. Well, on that same visit, I found out I was pregnant. Around 18 weeks, I had a miscarriage and my doctors speculate it was caused by the STD. Take my story as a warning tell your partners because anything that happens is at their expense i lost my baby and now i have criminal charges against my ex what are some things that an ex did to you that you still but can't believe to this day that you were right away i'm confused by that but i'll tell you i wish you aside from the um well anyways he would have girls on his snapchat like in his phone and i'd be like what's going on like why 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 we snapping girls and, and I was like, they're really pretty, like they're beautiful. And he was like, that should make you feel a lot better. Like I chose you out of all of these options that I have. Like, do you see what I did? Like I settled, you should feel honored. Oh, my And God. my dumbass was like, oh. He also freaked the fuck out, like legitimately had a panic attack. You did anything. Uh, it's called me every name in the book, because I uh, made chocolate chip cookies without him. Right. That was one of our biggest fights because I made chocolate chip cookies in my own Is home when he wasn't there without him. What are some things that an ex did to you that you still- I thought she was about to say, I text the dude or I hug the dude or something like that because that's very common. Dudes who cheat or do shady shit, when you do the smallest thing with another dude, they go crazy. It's the wildest shit ever. It's like, but nigga, you did, you did way worse. What are, what, what are we talking about? They're like mentally fucked up. Police to this day that you allowed them to do. Okay, guys. So I have a story this time. Uh, we were together for six years. We were married for four. And I had never gotten friends until like maybe the last year of our marriage. Oh, man. So... 
Finally, five years in, I was like, oh, I'm going to go for a girls' night. We're going to go to sushi. Told them everything, what time they're picking me up, like everything. I probably shouldn't have done that much, but anyways. Um, so I'm getting ready, doing my hair, and he comes in, and I'm thinking he's just like going to compliment me, like, oh, you look really nice. No. Instead, he reaches down to my ankle, touches my ankle, and is like, you shaved? What else did you shave? Had an attitude, walked away. I was like, Ugh. So then I go to the door. He walks me to the door. I'm thinking he's going to say bye, whatever, you know, normal shit. No, this man throws a condom at me and shoves me outside, locks the door behind me, and my friends are like, what the fuck just happened? Same. What are some things that an ex did to you that you still can't believe to this day that you allowed them to do? When we started dating, I was like, oh, I'll just give you a blowjob every single morning. That's just like something that I'll do for you, because I love you. And, okay, like that did not last, but I did it for the first like nine months bitch and then when they slowed down he got really mad at me i'm just angry because i looked at that and i was like you're right i just i stopped trying and i need to be better you better sit your ungrateful ass down birthdays only every single morning for months I will never get that time back. He also like cheated on me. And after we broke up, he cut himself in front of me. Said, I want to kill myself and break up with me. Okay. Bye. What are some things that an ex did to you that you that still can't believe to this day I that you allowed with, with nine Back when months. I was a little bit more self-hating than I am now, I was dating this white girl. And I asked her why she was attracted to me because I had a lot of internalized racism I was dealing with. And the correct answer was, I don't like you because of or despite your blackness. I just like you. But what she said was, I don't like white women and I'm not attracted to them. And I like black women because I can tell that they've been through something. That was the first red flag. <laughs> what are some things that an ex did to you that you still can't believe to this day that you allowed them to do? So me, my ex and his friends were all hanging out. And then one of his friends said that his girlfriend wanted to come over and wanted to bring her roommate, we'll call her Molly. And um, my boyfriend was like, yeah, yeah, like invite Molly, like help a guy out. And I was like, hmm, help a guy out? That's weird. That's suspicious. So Molly gets there and she's literally to this day one of the most beautiful girls I have ever seen in my fucking life. And they start flirting with each other and giving each other like the fuck me eyes. And my boyfriend turns to me and he's like, you have an 8 a.m. tomorrow. Like you should go home and like go to bed. And I was like, do I look like a fucking idiot? So I said no, and I was like, I'm staying. And then I was obviously super rude to everyone there because I was pissed off, and they all gaslighted me afterwards and said I was mentally ill. What are some things that an ex did to you that you still can't believe to this day that you will? Oh my God, so I was going out with my ex-boyfriend. It had been about three months since we started going out roughly. We were together for a year and a half, and he was still in love with his ex. And he wasn't shy about it. He even said he would pick her over me. And one day we were just messing around on Twitter, eyeing each other. And I wrote a tweet eyeing him and her. They hadn't spoken in ages. And as soon as I posted it, he made me delete like a second later. But she saw it. Keep in mind, he would stalk her on everything all the time. She blocked him because of this tweet. I thought it was so funny. He cried for days. He didn't speak to me for three whole days. I was his girlfriend. He changed his profile picture and usernames to like deleted and black screens. And he begged me to send her a paragraph on my account saying how sorry he is and how he needs her in his life and she means so much to him. And I did it and I stayed with him. What are some things that an ex did? Uh, I, I know what I said about not judging these people, but uh, <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm not gonna judge them, but god damn, god damn. God damn. I've done some stupid shit though. But you know what? We don't need to compare. It don't matter. Uh we all do stupid shit, like I said. Um God damn. God damn. Um, you know, just try to date around. <laughs> date multiple people at once. That is my advice to you. That will minimize the uh the likelihood that you that you are gonna put up with stupid shit. Because if you got multiple people you fucking with and one person is on some bullshit it's way easier to cut them off but if you are laser focused on one person and one person only 
then you're more likely to put up with their nonsense. Um, but this goes if you're just like casually dating. If you're in a relationship, I don't know what to tell you. I don't recommend it. <laughs> Relationships are, are just extra. <coughs> They're complicated. It, it's just it's just a lot that goes into relationships. I wouldn't recommend them, honestly. Um, personally, if you, if you ask me. But yeah, definitely date around. Date multiple people at once. Because th this shit, goddamn. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!